The shot line is towards the stern of the wreck and as we made our way to the stern we came across a 6 inch casemated gun. These were used to uh, fight off destroyers as the larger guns were just too big and slow to fire. This is a typical casement gun uh, but obviously in slightly better condition. We're now heading off to the stern where we're told there are some portholes. This is a little uh, picture of the stern. Obviously the ship's upside down. You can see the portholes and the armoured belt. And above it the rudder. As you can see there are a few portholes here but they're not in very good condition. We will just make our way to the stern where we hope to see a little bit of the armoured belt and some intact portholes. Every so often there's an opening in the hull that lets you gaze inside. There are a couple of divers doing a penetration dive as we were there, but it's obviously a little bit too silty for us. And now we're coming across an intact section of armour plate. This is towards the stern, so it's relatively thin, about five or six inches. In the centre of the ship the armour plate is about 13 inches thick. And as we approach the stern we come across some completely intact portholes still with their internal glass inserts. Probably open to aid the ship sinking. And now we're rising up past the armoured belt again towards the underside of the ship because of course the ship sun's upside down. This is one of the rudders. And it looks like we had some German divers in town because they've left a uh, Imperial German Navy flag flying from one of the propeller shafts. Phil Harper and I are just heading off to have a look round the two rudders, silhouetted against the green murk. As you can see, they're pretty substantial structures. And now we're heading across a relatively blasted area towards the uh, keel of the ship. As we swam down the keel, I noticed what I thought was an open hatch. Seems an unusual place to find an open hatch, and I wonder if it's got anything to do with the scuttling of the ship. After completing our dive we bagged off, did a little bit of decompression before being picked up by our dive boat Sharon Rose, skippered by Kevin with assistance from Ollie. 
we can just see operating the hydraulic lift.